Hello everyone and welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream this Sunday evening. I'm here, <laughs> Callie here, and <laughs> ready to play some games along with my friends, Jesse, hello. Josh, hello, hello, Max, how's it going? And Michael will be joining us shortly as well. <laughs> All right, tonight we have a little bit of a different flavor of board game. We're playing Impact Learning Edition. So we have it already set up and ready to go on the table. Michael's going to teach us how to play. The rest of us have not played it at all. So we'll be learning the game along with you, our audience. So we'll be taking you step by step playing the game. And um, it is a game about big ideas that impact the future of learning. So we're all playing as different powerful people with different roles in um, the global space, really, and making decisions based on what outcomes we would like to see based on our individual in areas of interest. So, and you can kind of see some of the colors already of all the different areas of interest that we're going to be kind of uh, pulling and vying over and lobbying for. All right, are we ready, Michael? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream. And like Kelly said, we're playing the game Impact Learning Edition. Um, this is by KnowledgeWorks. Mm -hmm. And it plays, I believe, uh, three to five or two to five players. Three, three to, to five, five players, which takes about. We're gonna play the forty-five minute version, so it's a little bit shorter. But you can kind of change the amount of uh, time you like to play the game, which is nice too, right? Um, so if you want to play a longer session, or you want to maybe you're a teacher and you're looking to play the game in a shorter session because your class only has about forty-five minutes, we have a teacher here, so nice. we can imagine that this is a game that uh, could fit into a classroom schedule about forty-five minutes. Uh, for a regular schedule, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, uh, we went ahead and set the board up. So we have all the different um, locations on the board. Uh, we have like, learning environments, uh, civic life, policy and governance, health and well-being. And we have cubes on those locations. And those cubes represent like their, their value. So we have four on each of them to start. If we wanted to play a longer game, we'd start with less. We have a character, like I am Ying Chao. I hope I'm saying that right. Director of Community and Environmental, uh, environmental Initiatives. And at the side, at the back of our card, everybody has kind of a backstory. The top of their card indicates what they were previously or what they're currently doing for employment. And then uh, down below in the middle, underneath their name, is what they want to do. And kind of like a little bio that describes the character. And my guy has a specific bio. And you want to kind of keep the secret. This is like a secret oh. objective that we have. And we all have our own preferred future. And we're going to have three different symbols on our card that will indicate the values and locations that we want to have those values. So for instance, mine might be a orange and a nine, and a blue and a seven, and so on and so forth. In order to win the game, you have to achieve that many cubes on each of the different three locations, uh, or more, at the end of the round. And if you do that, you'll successfully complete your future objective, thusly achieving what you want to achieve in life. And we all kind of have our own unique goals and, and like expertise. So uh, well, some of our goals might overlap since we're all going after multiple things. That's right. Okay. We're also going to start with three impact cards. These cards are what are going to facilitate change in the world and also facilitate kind of a little bit of a, a creation of like a, a headline, so to speak. Now we're playing five players, so there's going to be five different cards that are going to pop up. Uh, as we play cards, because on our turn we'll play one of these impact cards. Uh, we are going to then um, uh, change uh, the board and the cubes based on what it tells us to do. Usually they'll have a first and second impact. So maybe one might say, you know, work and employment did well. Very paraphrasing, of course. But because work and employment did well, maybe uh, civic life did poorly. And so plus two here, minus two here. Very straightforward. Remove cubes, put cubes on, put cubes on, remove cubes. Other times, it might be a purple, and if that's the case, you can kind of choose uh, mm. where you want to remove or where you want to place cubes down to impact the different... Um, and where it just says a domain. Types of domains, yeah. yes. Okay. yes, exactly. Kind of a navy color. Move yeah. to another domain, and minus a domain, plus a domain. They're all like kind of purplish color. Uh, otherwise, they're going to have a symbol. Uh, for instance, there might be two reds here, but one has got kind of the lifeline heart for health and well-being, and the other one here is a community and culture uh, space, which will indicate people. 
And so you'll be attempting to play these cards in order to facilitate change that you wish to uh, occur throughout the, the game. Now, so we'll all play a card. We're all then discarding the number of cards we want from our hand, draw back up to three. We'll do that all together. Then the first player, the starting player, I guess, which will be me, I'm the judge here, uh, will get to look at all the cards that were played, all the cards that are going to impact uh, change. And then everybody's going to create a headline based on those cards. You can use one, two, three, four, five, maybe somewhere at least three or more if you can help it, um, to create a, a brief uh, headline. So maybe something that has to do with like, maybe like the planet and like the earth and like trees and whatnot. And so it's, it's so maybe the, the title would be like scientists uh, achieve, you know, future growth due to the impact of tree marketing or something. I don't know, whatever it might come up with, right? <laughs> And I'll choose the best person, and that person will then be able to place one cube on two different areas or two cubes on one area. So you get a total of two cubes to place down. Uh, then I'll move my judge token. Uh, the next player will start by placing down an impact card, and we'll go around in a circle. Uh, the next thing you need to know, too, is that there are unique yellow cards. Now, most of them are going to be white like this guy here. Uh, if they're white, they're kind of like pick and choose. If you have a yellow one, you have to instantly play that one. Um, and that will, I know, I know, I'll get there. If you have a yellow one, you'll have to instantly play that one. And you won't have a choice. You'll have to play that one, discard, then draw back up to three of your choice. It's kind of like a forced play. And uh, sometimes you'll get shields, too. These guys are shields, right? Quick, very question when you say discard, do we have to discard? No, no, no. Okay. You play a card. Sweet. That card will go up here. Yeah. Then you can discard one, two, or cards. three, depending on the Yeah, two? you're yeah. going to discard okay. down until you'd like to, and then you'll drop okay. to three. Um, and if you have a, uh, if you have a uh, yellow card, there's only eight in the deck, uh, that instantly impacts change. And even if the location is shielded, which I believe these are the shields here, uh, they will impact change regardless. Otherwise, a shielded location will be protected until your next turn. And you'll have cards that will say, say that, okay? okay? And that's basically the idea of the game. It's kind of like a judging style game. You're utilizing cards to impact the different uh, do territories or domains and trying to achieve your future goal. Okay, now, any questions? I'm noticing, uh, no, just commentary that actually yeah. I like that they've added this feature. If you look at the bottom of your cards, you have a website for... Yes, yeah, so they have sources for cool. each of the different impacts, right? So from, for uh, when, I, when we read them, which we'll read them in a, in a brief second here, um, it'll explain something that happens and where they got that information. So that's kind of what in, in, uh, adds to the educational yeah, so aspect. Yeah, this teacher getting students to go find credible, reliable sources is actually something that's hard to teach. So this is actually really cool. Like yeah, that. and I mean, I guess, I, like as, and I, I imagine as a teacher too, you'd have to, you can decipher what you believe is mm -hmm. a beneficial source or not. I don't know, like, you know. Uh, Mine all seem pretty solid. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I have like CNBC and Entrepreneur. And NPR. Team State Change. Yeah. I don't know, WAPO. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. I mean. That's cool. But I do like the fact that you uh, they've included sources. I think that's yeah. really important, especially for an educational game. Mm -hmm. So that's how you play the game Impact. Pretty straightforward, I hope. I have the rules over there if there's any mm, clarifications. And also there's a timer, which I think is involved in the judging round. But right. otherwise, I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take the top down so you guys can see the game played. And, and our beautiful faces, but just in a smaller uh, facet. Well, and more, if you, beautiful, more beautiful faces. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and my beautiful face. And you know, they're okay as well. Okay. <laughs> that's why we have you guys over there, because the pretty people. And that's why you're saying go off camera to then, you know, go man the other stuff. All right, I'm going to go switch the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, okay so I'm going to play right me first okay. in turn order. So I'm going to go ahead and play separate again. In an effort to intricate public high schools, New York City's mayor agrees to implement the enrollment e equity plan developed by a student-led coalition. So the first impact is segregated schools must counsel students to join other schools' extracurricular programs or issue vouchers for similar programs, which place two on civic, or uh, no, on uh, recreation, Special leisure, and play. play. And then I can move one influence cube from one domain to another, explaining the change and how it affects the cause and affect the logic of this card. Okay, so I have to use, I, I do have to use some brain power here. I do have yeah. to use some brain power. All right, what do I you want? To justify I'd, your decision. I have to figure out what I want. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how this could be related. Mm, all right, so in an effort to integrate public high schools, New York City's mayor agrees to implement this, the enrollment equity plan developed by a student-led coalition. So students are basically, going to be working together for enrollment equity so they're like this are a coalition of students to and trying to help students that are moving schools them to i think it said to avoid any kind of 
Well, I mean, basically the impact could also be um, uh, to uh, so basically the kids when uh, pushing other students to these other locations I imagine that it's going to affect their work and employment it's going to allow them to uh, receive better work and employment right wouldn't that okay. be an idea and so I would just move one off of now it says I can move it off of any other domain mm -hmm. so I'll move one to another domain mm, move one from this from one domain to another explain the changes so I have to explain why are you taking it the government basically the government is influencing less on the schools uh, and the students are providing more work mm -hmm. and employment for okay. um, other students as opposed to being more government government run it's kind of student led I suppose right that makes sense I, I, I know yeah that makes sense I place my little impact card up on the little stand here if I can do it right there you go and now we have one of the cards here huzzah Okay, and then I can go ahead and discard any cards I want. I want to discard all these cards. I'm going to discard them face down, and then I drop to three cards. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, that was my brain power at work. <laughs> no, that was a good connection. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I <laughs> believe me. Next. All right. I am going to go with partners and code. An automation, and automation gains a foothold in the job market successfully and. Successful unemployment requires high technical literacy along with strong social emotional skills. Okay. Then you get two cubes onto the recreation, leisure, and play. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'll put two. And then you add an influence cube to a domain and explains the changes following the cause and effect logic to this card. Hey, <laughs> your turn to be up on the bully pit. <laughs> Is there a maximum number of cubes per space? Is it 10? Um, I, I believe so. I mean... Because there's 10 little boxes on here, so... Probably? But uh, yeah, I know that yeah. there's no more... You don't need more than 10 for a given location. For your goal. Okay. I'll look, though. I'll, well, I'll check the rules. I would have to put my point in with social infrastructure for the factor of having a deeper social infrastructure allows everyone to be able to integrate and connect with people on a better... Level from where? No, but from where to where? Where are you moving? No, this is, this is different. Just, just add one. Yeah, it's oh. just an add one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I will be discarding those guys. Okay. Zombie colleges. With many colleges and universities projected to close over the coming years, debate rages about whether their financial positions should be made public. First impact is that many prospective students, especially first generation college students, seek the security of larger colleges and universities. So, two points are going to go I'll even to put these like this, it's easier for social the infrastructure. Everyone to see. <laughs> yeah. And one point is going to go to a domain of my choice. Add one influence cube to a domain, explain the changes following the cause and effect and logic behind this card. Uh, at this point, I think that more people going to the same location are going to build new communities in these like new colleges and universities that weren't necessarily there before. So I think that it's going to build community and culture in those uh, in those universities. Making the argument to better your own personal <laughs> goals. Yeah, everybody is. That's his name. <laughs> Not me. Uh -huh. I'm out for the common man. So this and one I'm will done. actually become part of the... Oh, part of that guy. Okay. And I'm just spreading two. Our possible headlines. Uh, Max, you forgot to draw. So here's your oh, three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. And my three. Everybody just discarding everything, huh? All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're up. Okay. I am playing hide and sick. Um, racist policies <laughs> continue to cause black, native, and Hispanic kids to be less likely than either white or Asian kids to enjoy very good health. The first impact is because they tend to get sick and experience trauma more often. Black, Native, and Hispanic kids miss more classes and do worse on tests, so I remove two from learning Ooh. environments. And then the second impact is that health services that partner with majority um, Black, Native, and Hispanic schools receive additional funding to address these inequities. So plus two to policy and governance. And I am going to... Yeah, discard these two. Okay. Discard one, and I'll draw two. All right. Okay. I'm going to play play to heal, play to learn. 
trauma-informed and culturally relevant play becomes mainstream in schools, group homes, refugee camps, and other support settings. The first impact is previously divided communities find ways to heal, and those who were once harmed the most feel a renewed sense of agency. Huzzah! Yep. Secondary, uh, there's uh, going to I have to explain, I have to move one cube and explain the movement. I say there's um, the in, there's going to be an increase in mental health because uh, communities are addressing trauma through play and that's from um, <laughs> less impactful <laughs> policy and governance. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you just earned yourself a non vote from the judge. I mean, uh -oh. no, no, no bias here. No I'm bias going here. You discard like both of these and draw them. I do. Okay, so now what's going to happen is we're going to go into the next phase of the game. After we go through this phase, we pretty much successfully understood the game, to my knowledge. I think so. Remember, if you get and if you get a, a yellow one, that's an instant play. Okay. Okay. I've gotten no one yet. All right, good. Well, there should only be five. So, ra so a round that. consists of each player having a turn. Once the round ends, a number of cards equal the number of players plus any disruption any disruption cards that were drawn. So basically, when you draw one, you play it instantly. Okay. Should be found on the played card stand. Based on the cards uh, played over the course of the round, each player, except for the judge, creates a headline indicating uh, the future world that the cards represent. Players submit these headlines to the judge for consideration. I am the judge for round one because I am the starting player. Excellent. The next one will be Max, and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, write something based on critical thinking, uh, p potential future world, and about the interactions of the cards played. Um, a good he a headline synthesizes all of the round's impact and uh, disruption cards into a single cohesive idea, such as the summer of love or the age of mechanical reproduction. And if you can't include all the cards from a round, that's okay. Come up with something that uses at least two or three. Don't overthink it. You only have two minutes, though which is me, the judge guy, placing this up. Okay. After that, I'll decide who wins the headline, and then we'll keep going. Okay? Make sense? Okay. Ready? Steady? You. And hopefully you guys can kind of see all these. <laughs> Make it a little easier. Hopefully. So we're just going to say, once we're done, what like our headline is? Like our kind of vision okay. of what these policy changes are. How they're impacting the future of learning. And you just give us a headline. Extra, extra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Play to heal, learn to play. Zombie colleges, separate again. Partners in code, hide and sick. Um, I guess. Do you want to say we yes? Just, well, you have, everybody has about two minutes. We can, if everybody says that they're good, we can just go, though. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought we were waiting for them to just go and turn order. I mean, if everybody's good, then we'll go, but otherwise... Can we just put our thumb up? Yeah, sure. Thumbs up if you're good. Uh, I guess I'm going to be bad at this one. That's okay. <laughs> All right, and we'll start going left. And I literally have nothing. I cannot think at the moment, so... so <laughs> That's uh, not even bad. That's... I am going to fail okay. on that just one. Just say a thing. You can't get it Make wrong. Just put some words together. A headline based on all the things we talked about. All right. Zombies attacked colleges. No, probably not that one. There we go. I'll go with that. Okay, go, Josh. Conflict in education is leading to conflict in health. Educate into our wellness. Play is for everyone, even all ages. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Desi. So I get to now place two anywhere you'd like. Two anywhere. So I'd they like. can be on two different ones or on Understand. a single okay. one. Okay. Let me consult my. Yep. Your next move. I was I was moves. I was definitely looking for education topics mm -hmm. and possibly in play and uh, reduction in in the quality of uh, the environment and. Uh, yeah. okay, learning and like climate care. environment, both yeah. of them. Okay, now we have an idea of what Jesse's interested in. Mm -hmm. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, good job, good job. And uh, I now pass my role on to you, Monsieur, Monsieur Alex Weber. All right. So I will start this off to play or not to play. 
To protect young children's health and well-being, some schools and child care center rolls back on heavy academic focus. Okay. So to your science, and you get to protect something. Yep. And I'm going to drop a protection on the social infrastructure. Okay. Now we have an idea what Max is looking at, too. Okay. And this card just goes ahead and goes over here. And go ahead and drop those in there. Okay. Hand me three, please. Thank you, good sir. Mm -hmm. uh, health first. By focusing on early childhood and health equity, California Surgeon General halves adverse childhood experiences and toxic stress in one generation. First impact is uh, plus two to health and well being. As other US states replicate this approach to health, not all achieve the same results, but on average, health outcomes improve. So, plus two to health and well being. Calif this is California's thing? Yeah, I know. We did something good? Yeah. <laughs> we actually put education and health first. Mm -hmm. Shocking. Unfortunately, not it's the just the only right thing now. we probably put first. <laughs> no, as a teacher, yeah, we don't put as much towards spending as we and should for to education. Up here. Right. And yeah, second impact is climate and environment. Mm. Uh, to improve health outcomes, states explore handing ownership and management of historic and sacred lands back to indigenous tribes. Where's the one here that gives us gas prices less than five bucks? <laughs> I know you guys out there living there and not spending five dollars yeah. like we are. Yeah. Health first, please. That's good though. That's interesting yeah. to hear. It's cool. Uh, makes me want to go ahead and check out that little link at the bottom of it. And I'm only going to discard one. Okay. So you're all happy and stuff, huh? Okay, I am going to play Brain Drain. Research shows that simply having one's phone in the same room face down with notifications and sounds off decreases cognitive capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, the first impact of this is to help combat cognitive decline. Some schools and employers block mobile data signals and replace them with data allowances. So I'll add one to well-being, health, health and well-being. And then the second impact is that I get to influence one cube to a domain, and I have to explain why. Um, I am gonna. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Um, I'm gonna add one to policy and governance because it is um, our corporations and schools that are protecting it, are, are trying to keep our cognitive continuing by... Um, the government and po the policy from the governance protects children from suffering the negative effects of brain yes. drain with cell phones. Yes, yeah, that. That yeah. That or maybe they're funding more research. Maybe they're funding, funding as well to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm going to, yeah. Good. This, this, oh, no, that one goes over there. No, yeah. Sorry. No cell phones allowed. <laughs> um, this is a good one, but I'm going to put it down because I don't need it. And I'm going to just draw two. Yeah, because they the thing is they, they know that their phone's there and they're excited for the next Insta tweet, Insta Twitter tweet. Or what, mm -hmm. what is it? What's, what's the other one? What's the, the fancy new one? Insta hmm? tweet TikTok? talk. Insta tweet talk. <laughs> okay. Oh, you mean basically what Meta's heading towards or whatever? I don't know. Uh, the what? Meta, that's supposed to be combining all of the stuff from Facebook or whatever. Oh my gosh. Another one? Uh. Your liver has been printed. Bioprinting advances enabling the first transplant of a 3D printed liver. Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty cool. So obviously the first impact is going to be health and well-being. Certain individuals gain renewed quality of life or extended life expectancy. Huzzah. Let's do oh, uh -oh. that one's max. Oh, uh oh, we mean uh oh, that one's Max. I mean, that wasn't that intentional at all. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the only one I have that's in my area, and I mean nothing. <laughs> second, <gasps> second impact: a small group of patients participates in studies to determine whether they could donate their bioprinted organs. Ooh. Science and technology. Oh, they're bioprinted organs, yeah. so not like they wouldn't have to go to. Oh, like, like see if. Like a, a bath, uh, what do you call it, a bathtub or anything like that with some ice. <laughs> That's no. good. That's good. This is one, a better way of doing it, I think. One to science and technology, please. Did you already do that? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I did. Thank you. Got it covered. And I will discard both of these. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. Now, what do I need? Oh, okay. Which one's easy? That's the question. <laughs> That's the question. The real question. Mm -hmm. Um... 
overdue police reform. A groundswell of support for racial justice leads to some communities to enact sweeping police reform. Attention to political and power structures intensifies, bringing more diverse candidates into the fray. It's going to score us two for governance and policy. And then add one influence cube to a domain. Explain the changes following the cause and effect of logic for this card. With the increase of different, um, of, what do you call, we'll call it? Um, Police reform? No, no, no. Um, with the impact of more people from um, uh, minorities, like in entering in, into the uh, police, uh, it kind of creates a, a climate of understanding. If, if you have people that are like of minority descent in certain areas that overwhelmingly represent that area, it's going to help the climate and the environment of that area. You know, they. Oh, there's much more acceptance. Yeah, the acceptance of that. To, the openness to. Person, to yeah, a yeah. Person of authority as a minority that represents their own community. Yes. Yeah, that's what you're saying. That's my attempted. At, uh, so why do you say the cube goes to. Well, it goes to climate and environment, right? The environment of the. Right? Is, or is it the. Is that. that the, no, 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 no. That's not the. I think, I think, I think your role. I'm not sure if you want to move it there, but it sounds like you're talking about community and culture. Because I think this is literally like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Green. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. And then that stays there. That I think that's all five the, of us. Yes, that is going to be the end of the round for that. So, everybody ready? Um, yeah. Two minutes. Go. Yeah, you're all quick to do it now that you don't actually have to make one. <laughs> Mr. Zombie Colleges. From my own choice. Hmm. <laughs> How are you guys all ready to go? <laughs> I think quickly. I was already looking at building a headline as we were putting the cards down. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheating. Thinking ahead. They're laid out. I mean, I had to you know, adjust as more things were played, but... Okay. All right. So we're starting with Josh being the next person. Children to are our future, and technology in their community can guide the way. Wellness thrives. Mm. Massive thrives in health, bolstered by both science and government. Is technology negatively impacting our children, or is it breeding the wet, the grounds for new medical advancement? Dang, all of these are really nice. Because the whole health first, but the brain drain's not good, mm -hmm. but the liver is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. these good and bad things. <laughs> all of them are pretty good. So I give two to whoever I believe is mm -hmm. the best. Yeah. Callie. Thank you. I don't even know what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what does it mean? You have to explain it. Massive stri uh, massive strides in health with the 3D technology, the marine research, all of that uh, were were bolstered by both science and What about the government. fact that our cell phones, just having them near us, affects us that negatively? That new knowledge that we're using to influence policy changes. All right, all right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, we're going... I'll go over here. It's the first time I've seen Max take a normal drink of water. Civic life. Okay. Well, I got to make sure it stays quieter. Oh, I have to draw. I, I didn't draw a card from my previous, so I'll keep these. Okay. You're the judge. Nobody's won yet, right? No. Nope. So do we like at pull the, that out when that happens? At the end, of, it's at the end of the round. I believe it's okay. at the end of the. Let me check. To make yeah, sure. yeah. Because oh. okay. <laughs> uh, multiple people might. Just says the end, the game ends when a player claims and proves they have achieved their avatar's preferred future. For a player to win, the number of influence cubes on their domain on the, on the domain tiles must match or exceed all three of the numbers indicated under their domain of the uh, avatar's preferred future. So, so it seems to oh, me where it's as thing. soon as it as soon as you get what you need for all the different numbers, you're good. So if you had a an eight, ten, eight, 
you could flip it over and say, I've got what is needed. Meat or exceeds. Meat or exceeds. Oh, okay. I haven't You're trying one to get no, Oh, oh you scared like, me. <laughs> I thought you got it. Yeah. Oh I'm saying like, oh, it changes my strategy. Oh, you thought maybe it had to be exact? Yeah. So oh, I'm yeah, like, cool, okay. So say that. How do we remove some of these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to remove these. These are good things. I think I might be able to remove all some. The, no. All the more we Oh, you're up, Josh. Yeah. Play a card. Come on. Time between the two Any because the, the secondary part for the main, I have to figure out how to justify I'll adding right where I want to add. And that's difficult. So yeah, I, I like that it makes you think because you have to explain why it is when you add the one to random domain, the, or not random, rather, the, how that's connected to the initial first impact. Mm -hmm. Or initial impact. We're redundant there. And I'm having trouble explaining adding a cube where I really want to add a cube because I'm not sure if it's actually connected. Oh, I got it. Okay. The, where are the teachers? As teacher turnover increases, enrollment in teacher preparation programs continues to drop. So the first impact is the efforts to increase the racial, ethnic, and gender diversity of educated workforce intensify. So two through community and culture. Mm -hmm. And I think part of this also includes getting teachers that are um, being involved in extracurriculars in school is also going to be improved. So that means clubs, that means sports, that means um, any kind of activity that then might also lead to scholarships and whatnot for them. So I think recreation and play, especially with like new coaches and whatnot, new interest mm -hmm. in like physical education will also be included with that. Teachers always have more than one job. <laughs> yes, yes we do. <laughs> so that'll go over there and I'm going to throw the other two. So I will drop three. Okay, mine is, it takes a village and a new policy. Paid family leaves becomes, an even more main, becomes even more mainstream as several states enact paid leave policies and all federal employees receive 12 weeks of paid leave. This is an awesome one. Um, first impact, a riding wave of support and additional laws and policies geared towards family supports are broadly enacted. So plus two to policy and governance, please. And then I also am going to add an influence cube to a domain um, that I think is also closely related to this. And I'm going to go with science and technology because in order for our organizations <laughs> to continue to run smoothly when somebody's out on a 12-week paid leave, they need to make sure that they have uh, operations and data systems in place to keep, keep everything going without a hitch. So... Okay, okay. Is that we'll why? Is that, that why? why? I, don't, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get any help getting the other two. I'm going to put those two <laughs> away, and then I'm just going to grab three. Oh, and yeah, they do have card holders here, and there's in the comments they're talking about. They also have these guys here, so you could... I'm not putting them like that because we have a top-down, but you can slide these guys just like that yeah. in. And, then like, you have um, and they have these little these little guys here, which I, I, did, I imagine is the... Yeah, you yep. can slide the cards in there. Extra, extra... I don't like the three I got, can I just toss them and draw again? Okay. Yeah, draw down one. to two. <laughs> Mulligan. Rock me, no baby. Mulligan rules. Universal. This is an educational game, Kelly. <laughs> That's what the card says. Mm. Universal low cost child care becomes available in the US. Oh. Mm. I don't know how low cost. <laughs> maybe, is. Maybe, the, maybe the other one is just like this. Here you go, Rocky. <laughs> yeah. Low cost. The, oh, it is. Yeah, it's about babies. I guess that makes sense. First so. impact. Freed from worries about affordable childcare, mm. everyone who wants to work outside the home feels more free to find a job. Mm. And then the second impact, as two income households spread, people shift their home management routines to balance demands, plus one to community. So that one already maxed out. Uh, I don't think in the rules anywhere it says how, if you, as far as I read that there's no <laughs> max, but. Mm. Oh, because people right get here. negative. Yeah, so that's there. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess we'll, we'll like leave it at 10. It, it, it does have a certain amount of space, so we'll just yeah. leave it based on that's that's how I would assume. Okay. okay. I'm discarding those. I don't push the envelope on that. Who will? <laughs> well, I'll just play in the cheese. But, None of these yeah. are helping me. One hurts me. I should have gotten yeah. rid of some cards. Oh, how long does the protection last? Uh, just until your next turn. Okay. So whoever played that, Max. then so, on his right, next turn. That was gone two turns ago then. Oh, okay. Education is not the great equalizer. Philanthropic funds and 
focus shift philanthropic funds and focus shift away from specific education efforts to broader initiatives focused on families, communities, and inequality. A boat, a rope, a cat, a bat. All right, I... Um, Com- so writing themes so far for you. Uh, mm-hmm. Communities seek more hostile approaches to foster health and well-being and provide social support. That's going to net us two on social inf- infrastructure. I'm going to put those guys okay. there. And one of your choice. Add one influence cube. Explain the following change in cause and effect logic of this card. Okay, so I have to... Exp- okay, I can just add one and explain why. Mm-hmm. So this is going to... So people who give money... Just to give it, Phil- philanthropic is basically like a just a donor, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Don- donor, donor. Um, it shifts away from specific education efforts, like like my program for schools. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And wow. instead, focuses, focuses on, on families, families, communities, and inequality. Mm-hmm. So like inequity. at home, inequity. Mm-hmm. Not inequality. Learn environment, their inequity. whole environment, not just not effort. just children's school environment, yeah, but their whole stress. environment. Um, well, I guess that would improve. Let me check. Oh, what the that white would improve. cards were intended for the character cards. Uh, this doesn't actually, but if I can't, it wouldn't be fair to say that that would actually improve that, so I have to be honest. And there is no max max of cubes per... Oh, well, I guess yeah, because it, it would, the incre- there's no max cubes? Nope. Okay. It's all based on house rules. Okay, well... I mean, I guess it'd be fun to leave it at 10, just so somebody can take one off if they want to try and stop somebody else. Um, But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and include one to learning environments. I think it'll push the uh, broadening effects of learning environments by increasing the benefits um, from donor investments to everybody, including like families and that infrastructure, comparatively to just specific ones, which might benefit like work and employment in in regards to for you. um, Or maybe even... I feel like that's contradictory to the headline. No, it's um, saying that the education is not so. It typically, learning environments would be in a school environment. Yeah, and they're talking about pulling funding away from that. Are they pulling funding away from? It? They said they're pulling yeah. specific. Fo- focusing on the other shift. They're not yeah, so they're broadening the their their definition of what helping education is. So rather than just in the schools, they're going to help families, communities. So they're going to put Something money into else. all of those things. So would they help work in in employment then? then would they promote? So they'd be promoting your yeah. work then, right? As opposed to specifically for school, or no? Yeah, is that because yours there is... could be then more programs that mm-hmm. help families and communities, which could be more jobs. You could that, argue that. increase like education levels for kids, or, or not mm-hmm. just education, but like uh, overall. But there's an argument. I think there's an argument you could make there that um, I think this one makes more helping sense, their though. whole environment going to help learning outcomes. Uh, okay. I'll just, I'll, okay, it's a broad, yeah, that's that. a broad approach. So I'll just go with, it It would lead to more work and employment. Okay. Especially when you include more funding for that to in- increase the value of, like, ability to create more jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, that's that's mine. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to do mine. I just keep trying to, like, <laughs> be reasonable with it. I'm going to discard these guys here and get three new ones. Okay. Ooh, my nice score All right. Negative. Well, that's four. So mine is from hashtag to human rights. Gender discrimination, sexual harassment, and violence in workplaces and schools are now considered international human rights violations. With the first impact against the opinion of race, racial justice advocates, some schools resort to uh, punitive deci- uh, discipline policies to address sexual harassment, which takes away one out of policy and governance. Okay. And then the second impact would be to add one in, it's just adding one influence to any one of the domains. And explain the logic to this. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go with the social infrastructure due to the fact of the more we get in uh, engrossed with putting out what is a benefit and also the essentially the pros and cons of the issues that the children are facing in their schools, the adults are facing in their workplaces allows it to become more public. The more public it is, the more proactive everybody ends up being in the future. Well, just fighting against any kind of sex harassment like that would increase social infrastructure because mm-hmm. at that point, then you're... Yeah, but his, 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 his argument was fine. Else, right? I think you said it fine. That's probably and his best argument yeah, so far. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> I have achieved... Ah, I was 
one away four. on recreation leader. I was play. one away from science. <laughs> I actually got closer okay. than I thought. I was two. No, I was four away on climate. I've been two away yeah. on here for a long time. I, I didn't get any yeah. cards. I, I thought it. somebody else was going for oh, I kept on leisure. <laughs> I'm actually maxed out in every single one right now. So Alex Weber, who was currently is currently an assistant director, has now become the community intelligence specialist Ooh. or the CIS. Hmm. CIS. <laughs> All right. Alignment, accountability, and algorithms are Alex's area of expertise. He curates data about learning and helps his learning community make sense of it all. He helps educators use technology for evidence-based, formative assessment and feedback and ensures alignment with state accountability systems, keeping an eye on private and privacy and security. Who's like a who's like a, a security algorithmic dude? He's like Yeah, it could be at a really big district yeah. or state education agency. Mm -hmm. Man, you're making some money. <laughs> what was Something I doing? Like that. What was I doing? I was the director, community, and environmental initiatives guy. I was literally a high school student, a sophomore in the last, which wow. is the exact grade I teach. So, I grade digital content. Most study. likely to become an influencer learner. Writer is Mexican heritage and bilingual. He teaches elders in the community to recycle and compost. He will join activities, including rallying others to support climate actions. It was oh, okay. Also for mm -hmm. So literally, yeah, like, he's, he's like a climate yeah, influencer. He's, you know, he's archetype. So he's not like me, where I influence people to try and buy board games. He's, he's probably a little he more relevant. He's the archetype of like my students. So yeah. mm -hmm. it's very fitting. Mm -hmm. Mine was the CXO for an ad, an, an ed tech uh, company, and mom of two elementary learners. Surrey seeks to gamify learning for student engagement and mastery. She constantly campaigns for learning communities to use and purchase her company's tools, advocating for permissive policies that align educational games with state standards and broaden device access. Nice. Actually, sounds kind of like, 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 yeah. like what I do. Sure I was Cali. <laughs> So uh, for a tech nonprofit. Yeah. Now it says you have to keep these secret. These are like our secret yeah. roles, right? Yeah. Now at the end of the game, we I'd be curious. To, the part you need to keep I'd be nervous. Well. I guess you wouldn't play this multiple times with multiple groups if you were doing it in an education environment. Mm -hmm. uh, so people wouldn't have to worry about memorizing these. But if a same group was playing over and over again, I you're might know mm. what mm -hmm. your goals yeah. are. Yeah. And uh, I wonder if that was not if that was taking into. Maybe you into, could keep the card totally. Secret, totally secret. I don't know with your hand. I and maybe know. you, maybe you just don't say. That. I mean, you have to be, you have to play the honor system then. Yeah. A little bit. Um, but I'm thinking it's more used for like an well, educational. Like after, yeah. It's for yeah. kids. They come in. You and explain you, the oh, game. Okay, this is something someone who works in ed tech would want. Oh, uh, there's ten. Forward. I believe. Yeah, okay. So there's there's another five more over there. Mm -hmm. Not that there, my memory would work. Nine. Mine wouldn't matter at all because my memory is basically even, non-existent. But yeah, even if you did, the ability to subtract from other domains is pretty limited. So I don't think you would actually be able to like like essentially hate draft too often yeah. if you knew what the person's goals were like to really impact so them all. If you want I mean, the I think there's enough because we didn't get through, and I've had a few where I could detract. But only like minus one. Plus like, two, plus yeah. one. I've got a minus so, two. Yeah. I had a minus two actually. Okay. Yeah, and another one. We started with four on each two. You could start with less. You could start with less. Yeah. yeah. To increase yeah. the game's more, time, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. A little more yeah. challenging. And the lower the amount of the starting points we have, the harder it is to actually raise it up, mm -hmm. making that game much longer. Mm -hmm. Very cool. This is mm -hmm. um yeah. Uh, I haven't played a whole lot of educational board games, but this one kind of ties in a little bit of like a judging style game okay. mixed with like card management and like. Uh, There's critical thinking skills there too. I like that. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to arrange your goals in a certain way. You have to kind of keep track of what players are going for too. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you want to. How it is yeah. you're going to play your bonus cube. I mean, there's yeah. gamification taking place here, which is nice as well. Mm -hmm. and, and it comes to, like, you know, yeah, impact learning, basically, and how it affects these veneers. But, like, I go, oh, you know, Max is obviously making an argument for social in infrastructure. That's because he wants that. Now I'm going to play a card that tries to uh, justify why that should be less impacted, or mm -hmm. should I focus on what I need to do, which is climate and environment, work and employment, policy and governance, um, and how can I best fit my arguments to facilitate change there. And what's also nice is you can kind of imply different arguments for almost anything yeah. um, <laughs> and maybe even a house rule would be cool too is if the judge was the one to determine if your argument is uh valid or, uh, is valid. Valid. Yeah. or, or, or maybe even more uh, relevant because if i was the judge i wouldn't have a clue if your argument was valid maybe it would be more like a group conscience conscious yeah. like, decision another thing is it's just kind of sparking the conversation mm -hmm. um, well yeah it could work that way here's a reason another reason why it could work that way or it couldn't um so and actually that happened a few times during the game which i think is what you want in this type of learning mm -hmm. game mm -hmm. to spark those types of conversations 
Solid game. Uh, good educational experience. Um, cards have uh, citations, which is nice as well, which yeah. I will be looking up quite a few of these, actually, just because it's the kind of guy I am. I'm very interested in always, like, reading. Fucking source material. Yeah, I was yeah. yeah, and a lot of these that. are, yeah, actual policy changes or mm -hmm. structural changes, and some of them are still ongoing, like the apparently family leave, and right? Even That's if a you debated issue. Even if you disagree <laughs> with maybe something involved with maybe I don't mm -hmm. think it actually might involve the fact that it improves climate and environment because I know a little bit about this thing and it actually affects it in this way. Mm -hmm. You can just it sparks conversation is what yeah. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So even disagreeing with the cards while playing the game, just still following the rules of what the game says, looking at the source material and kind of I don't know, I guess you can create a little bit of a I don't know if I'd say political nature to the game, but I'd say more of like a it's current like events, yeah. Current mm -hmm. events and discussion on like how things impact other things based mm -hmm. on uh, what policies are taking place where and when. Okay, some of the sources I'm familiar with, some of them actually not. Mm -hmm. uh, I, there's a, there's yeah. a large list yeah. of different stuff that I, I haven't looked at. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but either way, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was a lot of fun, yeah. and uh, I was surprised uh, how much debate and like discussion that it. It actually entailed. I was kind of expecting kind of a, oh, I read the card I played out and I just put cubes down. If I get all my cubes, I win. Mm -hmm. But this actually sparked a lot of discussion, which is, mm -hmm. I feel, what they were going for. And I, th I think if that's what the objective of the game was to spark discussion and create a little bit of a strategy. And, and yeah, I like that because they did it. just the reading run. about a policy change usually is not going to make it stick in your brain. Yeah. <laughs> but having some sort of interaction with it a conversation, a story you have to tell around uh, mm -hmm. building the headlines that actually creates those neural pathway connections in your brain that allow you to remember. So I mean, heck, if, you, if any of you come visit and you see, you know, behind the scenes kind of stuff, Mike and I like to discuss all kinds of different <laughs> topics all the time, like behind the scenes. So and this you gives us a chance to actually do it. So you do. This gives us a chance to actually do it even you know, on camera. So, hey. Yeah. Yeah, and the one thing that a quote that actually goes really well with this is knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This game allows you to expand knowledge on a bunch of different fronts and allows you to better yourself. It's great. Mm -hmm. So decent design too. Yeah. I do like the design of the game. I think it's colorful and interesting. Um, it's it, it definitely, definitely looks like an educational board game though yeah. when I pull it. Yeah. That's it is an educational <laughs> game. You're not going to be going in there fighting the you know, the, the caves colors of Gondor. are actually very similar to my <laughs> works website. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking too. It's just the <laughs> color scheme, too, with, uh, which how is the elementary. Are out. It didn't matter if we had to move around to then place the cubes on different squares. Turned out to not be a thing because my three actually lined up literally all next to each other. So I was like, oh, this is going to be really easy to move there and get my cubes there. Turns out you don't have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that is the game, Impact Learning Edition, which I imagine if this is the Learning Edition, there might be some other editions. I don't yeah, there's an original um, something about idea. Uh, uh, an ad adaptation of Impact, a foresight game. Foresight game. Yes. Mm. Okay. And there's a website where you can pick the game up. I think the link is in the description. We'll have yep. this up on YouTube tomorrow for the live stream. It will be edited and chopped up so you don't have to see us uh, bantering as much. And then we'll also have a review out for this game, um, or I will be reviewing it, uh, in the next day or so, along with one other game that I've got. So I might get a double feature tomorrow. Hey. And uh, that's pretty much it for tonight. A pretty straightforward mm -hmm. stream. Wanted to show you guys impact, and I wanted to thank you guys for watching. And, of course, thank you, the, I believe, the uh, creators of the game, or people who work with the game in some way, uh, were mm -hmm. on the stream. Yes, and hopefully we'll answer yeah. a few questions. Mm -hmm. And you'll have the opportunity to, if they ever post, if people post comments after this, or, of course, in the YouTube video tomorrow. So you'll get two different areas in which people will be able to uh, view the video to, um, you know. At a later time. At a later yep. time, mm -hmm. yeah. Because we get views after and then during the uh, YouTube. We kind of like to mix it up. So we get more chance for all of our audience to see this. Um, but, yeah, so our stream is back up now. It's good. It's clean. I didn't notice any, like, stuttering. I cleaned, I cleaned whatever, everything yeah. up to make sure that this would actually function well. And thank goodness for this week being... Um, being solid. solid, yeah, that's good. Big win for unfiltered gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Technology <laughs> succeeds. Success. We figured. I figured it out, and uh, we'll come back next week. We'll All be having uh, <laughs> two more sponsored games, and I believe a, de a developer is going to show up to play Ooh. with us as well. Ooh. Yeah, and we'll also be playing the game Dune. Betrayal. Dune Betrayal. Oh, I was just eyeing Ooh. that on the shelf. Yeah. So you got Dune Betrayal. This Ooh. is from the new IP of the Dune game. Mm, if and you haven't seen the movie, we, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 I would say it's a, it's a solid epic, but it's also a yeah. little slow. 
If you're not no, used to, it's right. that epic style. If you're not used to a yeah. Lord of the Rings esque mm-hmm. movie with less action, more story, and if you haven't read the um, Frank yeah, Herbert the books, book, then you're gonna probably not. You're gonna be a little confused in the beginning. Yeah, but uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go into any more detail with that. But just the next stream will be on next Sunday at 6:30 p.m. PST. And what I do here at the end is I will do an outro for YouTube. So I'll cut a little portion off when the game ended until this point here, where then YouTube will have the opportunity to. Subscribe to the channel. Not here. True. Thanks for being with us. But you're a little late, buddy. I know, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so we will be back next next Sunday. We'll have a full stream too. It'll be from six thirty to nine o'clock. Ooh. Yeah. So we okay, have. We need to make sure we're back from camping then. We got a couple. She's like, I don't care about that. I want to go camping. <laughs> I'll have a paper too, so I'll be probably finishing that up. But yes. Uh, you going camping? I'll be here. Yeah. Well, we're okay. not going far. Just Doheny. Yeah. Where are you guys? Who are you going with? Just Joy and my sister. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to see Joy. Why don't you come over here and hang out with me? Come Where is she? You guys want to come to Dana Point with <laughs> us? She's in San Francisco, the same place she always is. Dana Point's is close, though. Is yeah. She, is she flying out of here? Uh, she's probably driving down, actually. Huh. Because last minute flights, especially this close to Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She can pricey. stay here. We have an extra room. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ash. Ash. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream. I appreciate you guys all showing up here. Max and Josh and Jesse and Kelly, you guys did a great job allowing me to not win the game. Um, in fact, congratulations, that is awesome. Callie, That's for being super cute. <laughs> Sorry, Max. <laughs> if you'd like, you can go ahead and watch the rest of our Korean streams every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, and then, of course, Monday here on YouTube. If you like this video, you can go ahead and like, comment, and, of course, subscribe to the channel to see more videos. And every Monday through Friday, we do release more review videos. There'll be a review video for this game coming out tomorrow and you will be able to uh, pick the game up in the link down below in the description if you're interested. This is going to be a game great for teachers, educators, and the like, as well as, of course, parents. And I would even say homeschooled uh, you know, mm-hmm. families Definitely. and whatnot. Yeah, as this teacher's vote of approval. There you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys, guys next time. time.